Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for FPS Toolkit. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set bullet impact per surface type. As you can see, I have concrete, wood, metal, plastic, and an electrical panel. If I demonstrate quickly, we hit the metal, we get a feedback of the metal visual uh, particles plus the sound. So let's do the same for all of them. I already have plastic and concrete set up, but I don't have anything for the wood or electrical. First step is to go to project settings, go to physics, and scroll all the way down to where it says surface types. So here you can all add all the surface uh, types for your materials, for whether snow, water, Anything that you have in your project that you wanted to interact with, you can list it there. So for this tutorial, we're going to add wood and we're going to add electrical. All right, so then the next step, we're going to look for our base project type. Right here. So this is where all the, the code basically take place. Uh, we have an impact visual effect and we have an impact sound event, sound effect event. All we have to do, you're going to see on your project, you have a surface type and multiple options. Right click, refresh. Now we can see where we add wood and electrical. Every time you add a surface type, you must come here and refresh this. Then if you have any uh, impact uh, effect for your project, you just assign it there. So I'm going to look for wood impact large and electrical I also have an electrical visual impact and for the sound same thing so we're going to refresh so we can get our new surface type here wood impact wood 8 and I have one for electric Q right here all right, so this part is done, the compile and save. The next step, we need to add our physics material to each mesh. So we have a, you will see that there is a physical material folder uh, in the project. So you just duplicate one of these and rename it. So this one will be wood. And then we're gonna do the same for electric. Electrical. And what you need to do is open it and you'll see that you have a surface type. Make sure that it's matching the name of what you want to use it for. Same thing for wood. Go to wood. So now we have the new ones are matching. And all you have to do next is click on the mesh and go to the detail panel. And you'll see you have a physics material override. So we can assign it here. For this tutorial, I'm just going to set it up here. But for your actual project, so you don't do this each time, you want to assign it inside the static mesh. You open your static mesh, you go to details, and look for physics material, and you can set it there. If you want to set it inside the blueprint, same thing, you click on the mesh inside the blueprint, and look for uh, physics material override, and you can assign it there. So that's for the wood. We're going to do the same thing for the electrical panel. You go here and we look for electrical and that's it that's all we need to assign our new surface type now if we play and we shoot the wood we should, get our new. we shoot the electrical plastic concrete Alright, so this is it for this tutorial. I hope you will find it very useful for your project. It's easy to use. Everything is there for you. I'm going to be doing another tutorial coming soon and we'll talk about weapon and ammo drop off and pick up, how you can pick it up from an enemy and so on. But until then, you take care of yourself. See you later.